Hey folks, this is Shock, and I want to show something to you about a group called the Brights. A atheist group called the Brights. Now, what are the Brights? Well, let me give you a little history of the Brights from what I've been studying is the Brights came about because of the negative reputation of atheism. So rather than call yourself an atheist, a group of atheists got together and they said, let's come up with a new name for atheism. And so they call themselves the Brights. Check this out. Notice what it says here. It says, what is a Bright? And it says a Bright is a person who has a naturalistic worldview. And remember this part about a Bright's worldview is free of supernatural elements. You notice that. Now, now check this out. Let's look at the members of the Bright's. Richard Dawkins is a member of the Bright's. Now, why are these atheists calling themselves Bright's? Well, I believe it's because of atheism's horrible reputation and evils in society. Do you know that it's now very well known that Dr. Sam Harris, he's a founder of the New Atheism Movement, he said that he's quite aware of the stigma surrounding atheism and is advocating atheists no longer call themselves atheists. He is telling atheists not to call themselves atheists anymore because of the horrible reputation atheism has in society. So the atheists have come up with this name, <laughs> the Brights. The problem, though, is the future of the Brights does not look bright at all. Let's look at the data on the Brights. Look at this chart right here. Over here on the right, it clearly shows that the Brights have been declining over and over and over. The future for the Brights does not look bright. Their website traffic also on the brights.net is just declining. Now, now let's go to the front page of the Brights website here. You notice it says a Brights worldview is free of supernatural of supernatural elements. They don't believe in the supernatural. Well, that's unfortunate because it's going to take a miracle for the Brights to increase the volume of visitors going to their website. It's actually declining. Now, there's some other members of the Brights. Check this out. Penn and Teller are members of the Brights. So, let me go ahead and see if we can help the Brights. You know what would really help the Brights increase their uh, popularity? Since if you look at this chart, their popularity is declining here. This is their, uh, according to site analytics, they're really, people are just not interested. So I have a suggestion. Pin Gillette, I hereby challenge you to a debate. I want to challenge Penn Gillette to a debate. Penn Gillette, here's the debate challenge. If you guys look below this video, you're going to see 15 questions for evolutionists. Now, Penn Gillette is an evolutionist. I hope he accepts this debate and he doesn't evolve into a chicken. But Penn Gillette, I hereby challenge you to a debate on these 15 questions for evolutionists. I'm going to give you time to study them. You can scroll down the page here, click right below the video and go through these 15 questions. And we can debate these 15 questions since Penn Jillette, uh, is an evolutionist. So there you have it. Penn Gillette, that is my official challenge to you to debate me on these 15 questions for evolutionists. 
Now, I have to tell you guys, do you remember, I'm going to put another video below, where I predicted that atheism is a squeak in society, but we're going to get atheism down to half a squeak. And it appears, <laughs> and it appears that this is happening faster than even I would have imagined. We predicted that atheism is just a squeak in society, and now it appears that it's even moving faster to become half a squeak. The proof and evidence of the future of the brights, the future does not look bright for the brights. So, Pendulette, this is your chance to pull a rabbit out of the hat. Debate me on the 15 questions for evolutionists. I'm going to put these questions below this video so you can study them. And uh, also make sure you visit creation.com if you'd like to see these 15 questions or click below this video to go directly there. Will Penn Jillette have the courage of his atheist convictions to debate me? It could help the Brights. They sure need the help. The future doesn't look bright for the brights. It looks dark and bleak. Maybe this debate between Pendulette and I will help. So come on, Pendulette. Let's help atheism get to even half a squeak quicker. Because I know that's what's going to happen. The future of the brights does not look bright.